Hey guys, it's Alona Minkowski, and we are here in Philadelphia for the DNC. Now, while national politicians are gathered to come up with a Democratic platform, we're a couple of miles away because we want to show you some of the real neighborhoods in Philadelphia and some of the programs where people locally are already tackling the issues that they're facing head on. Kevin Upshur is the founder of the Strawberry Mansion Learning Center, which for 10 years has provided computers, a library, and healthy meals for youth in the community. But it wasn't always a place for kids. The building used to be a bar run by Kevin's family. My mother passed away and she said, you gotta do something in the community. You gotta give back and you gotta help stop some of the violence by having a place where young people can come and learn. The Strawberry Mansion High School, only a few blocks from the center, has a 41% graduation rate. The unemployment rate in the neighborhood is 13.3%. And on the west side of North Philadelphia, which includes Strawberry Mansion, there have been more than 500 violent crimes reported in 2016 alone. What makes the Learning Center so unique is that it provides a safe haven and it empowers youth to see beyond their immediate surroundings. And a lot of kids that get outside the neighborhood and actually see what's going on, they realize the difference. We, we need to be able to employ our, our youth in Strawberry Mansion. We need to be able to have jobs created so that our kids in the community and students, you know, that that go to school, they'll have a place to work. As a result of not having stuff for our young people to do, they get in trouble, they do a lot of other things, they, it's a lot of crime. Wayne Tomlin and his son both volunteer at the center, but he hasn't been able to shield him from the pain of losing friends and family to violence. The schoolhouse doesn't have a basketball court. Doesn't have a basketball court. What else is the kid supposed to do? It's, it's, it's unheard of. And it used to be in our community. And it's been taken away from. And they know it's been taken away by violence and guns. Are you scared to walk around in your neighborhood? No, not really. It's just like walking around in this neighborhood, I know some of the consequences that could happen. John Solomon was introduced to gun violence at the age of 13. At 18, he was sentenced to five years in prison. It was kind of like a, a gift and a curse because I learned so much from, from being locked up. And I, I, I basically grew up in prison. How different would things have been for you if you would have been coming to a place like this, like the Strawberry Ranch and Learning Center when you were younger? You know, being around a person like Nasir, who's positive, who I can relate to, it would have made a big difference because a lot of young people, they're growing up and it's almost like they're raising themselves. John is now developing his own anti-violence organization. In his own words, he wants to take on the role of a protector. A good friend told me, he says, man, the, the day you stop is the day something could happen. Because some days I'll be like, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? But I always remember, he says, keep going because if something good can happen. And when I say something good can happen, you save a kid's life. A kid comes to you in the right time, and he's talking to you, and you help change his mind about something. Kevin has been a mentor to hundreds of young men, but he makes no money running the Learning Center. He's been employed as a social worker for 20 years, and he relies on donations and other programs to keep the center afloat. Do you get a lot of donations here? Yeah, yeah, we get a lot of donations. Uh, actually, we changed this. This was, um, they had another guy on here holding kids, and I thought, hey, who is this guy? <laughs> So I went and had this done over with me and the kids who actually live in the community. And they didn't say anything. I thought it was nice. And, and the, the unique thing about it, no one has marked on this. No one has marked on our building. Um, so we've been really, I was really proud of that because they, they do a lot of graffiti in there. Yeah, so it shows that there's, you get respect. Yeah, yeah, so, 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 yeah so it's, you know, I, I do love that. Providing a safe haven in his own neighborhood is a labor of love and a promise fulfilled. That, you know, when I think about my mom, I say to myself, she would be very proud of me. So everybody wants your mother to be very proud of them. So for me to uh, do this and, and, you know, like, you know, I know she's saying, wow, you, you really did it bigger than I thought you would, son.